CEO of Toyota just got a brutal warning to back off and shut down EVs. Despite the impressive sales numbers, customers are finally fighting back and going against EVs. And this has led to a major problem within Toyota that no one saw coming. I'm talking about something so severe that it could literally change the way you look at Toyota. Are EVs a scam? Why is the EV market crashing so hard? And why exactly is Toyota going against everyone? If you thought EVs were the future, you have no idea about the dark reality. And in this video, I'm going to expose everything. So here's what exactly happened. So you know how every car company seems to be jumping on the EV craze? Well, guess what? Toyota, one of the biggest car manufacturers, wasn't really into this whole EV thing. But instead, they were pushed into it by politicians. Can you believe that? Now, here's where it gets wild. Despite not being keen on EVs, Toyota's electric cars are selling like crazy. They're breaking sales records left and right, and because of this, they're moving away from their traditional combustion engines. This is a huge shift for a company that's been all about gasoline and diesel engines for decades. But, and this is a big but, it turns out not everyone is on board with EVs. In fact, the market for them is kind of crashing. It's like people want options, not just being told, hey, you gotta buy an electric car now. Toyota's gotta start listening to their customers again, not just what the politicians are saying. So let me take you back a bit. This all started during the time of Toyota's previous CEO, Akio Toyota. He was like, nah, I'm not all about EVs being the only future. He was more about having different types of cars, hybrids, hydrogen powered vehicles, and yeah, even electric ones. But he wanted to give people choices. He was quoted saying, we shouldn't limit ourselves to just one option. Pretty bold, right? Toyota wasn't just being stubborn. He had some real concerns, like where are we going to get all the lithium and nickel for these batteries? And what about people who can't afford EVs or don't have charging stations nearby? He was thinking ahead. Under his watch, Toyota was still making moves in the EV space, but they weren't putting all their eggs in one basket. They planned to spend a whopping $70 billion on electrified vehicles over nine years, but diversification was their main game. Then something dramatic happened. Toyota was shown the door. Yep, the guy who was running one of the biggest car companies and was the grandson of Toyota's founder was ousted. His views on EVs were seen as too old school, and he was pushing back against the all EV future. Enter the new CEO, Koji Sato. Everyone thought he'd be Mr. Electric Vehicle all the way, but he threw a curveball. While he's speeding up EV production, he's also focusing on this new secret type of fuel Toyota's been working on, something that could change everything. Even though Toyota's making moves towards EVs, they're not giving up on their technologies, especially hydrogen. Sato is all about keeping options open. He wants a new secret fuel type to be a big player in the future. But before I tell you about that, let's look at how Toyota is doing in the EV market. Their EV sales are going through the roof. In November alone, they sold a record number of vehicles and their EV sales shot up by 127%. And here's the kicker, that's still only 1% of their total sales volume. So yes, while EVs are doing well, the majority is still hybrids and gas cars, and this could cause big trouble for Toyota, which I'll get into in a minute. Toyota plans to launch more than 20 new EVs within the next five years, and has also announced promising EV sales targets despite the CEO being actually against the idea of full electrification. Now you might be thinking, why would they do something their own CEO hates? I've got two words for you, political pressure. Yes, you heard that right, folks. The Biden administration is doing a shady job that no one noticed until now. You see, every year, they've been rolling out these new emissions norms, and every year, they literally make it tougher for gas cars to pass these norms without actually being an EV. It's like he wants to deliver a message, either start making EVs or just don't sell cars at all. And Toyota is having to comply. The middle class is begging brands like Toyota to stop pushing out EVs and not to give up on gas cars just yet. But their hands are tied. And here's where it gets even wilder. The EV market as a whole, it's collapsing. That's right, collapsing. Despite Toyota's booming EV sales, the bigger picture is a total car crash and not the good kind. It's like everyone had this dream that EVs were the future, but now it's turning into a nightmare. Dealers are sitting on heaps of unsold EVs. There are literally EV graveyards out there, with thousands of cars just gathering dust. 
And why is this happening? Because people aren't buying them. You've got the big guns like Ford, GM, and even Tesla slamming the brakes on EV production. The costs are sky high, and the demand just isn't there. It's a mess, an absolute mess. And the people who have already bought EVs, they're not happy campers either. They're facing hidden costs that nobody warned them about. $500 a month for insurance, poor range in cold climates, and hefty repair costs going as high as $12,000 for battery replacement. I mean, how crazy is that? But not all hope is lost yet. Toyota CEO Koji Sato doesn't want to completely give in to the political pressure, but instead, he wants to build something that is emissions-free, but also not an EV. Toyota's working on an ammonia engine. This thing is a game changer. It runs on ammonia, which has no carbon atoms. That means super low CO2 emissions, and it can fit in regular cars. Now, Toyota's not the only one with doubts about EVs. Big names like BMW, Stellantis, Porsche, Honda, and Mercedes are also saying, hold up, let's not rush into this EV-only future. They've got their reasons, like not wanting to rely too much on a few countries for battery materials. Despite all the push for EVs, Toyota is still working on internal combustion alternatives. They're not just ditching them. They're exploring all sorts of tech to make cars better and more environmentally friendly. Furthermore, Toyota is also slashing their EV sales forecast by a whopping 39%. That's right, from their initial plan to sell 202,000 EVs this fiscal year, they've dropped it down to just 123,000. Talk about a reality check. Now, Toyota's still a giant in the car world, the third largest car maker globally. But when it comes to EVs, they're not exactly leading the pack. Koji Sato knows it's their hybrids that people want and love, and letting the political leaders dictate what they will do only causes more damage. Now, for those of you interested in their EVs, here's what's going to happen. Toyota and Lexus together are gearing up to manufacture a record 10.1 million vehicles by the end of this fiscal year. And get this, they've got plans to launch 10 new EVs by 2026. Some of these might even be powered by solid-state batteries and boast over 600 miles of range in one charge. But wait, there's more. Toyota just revealed two new EV concepts, the Urban SUV and Sport Crossover. These babies give us a sneak peek at what Toyota's future EV lineup might look like. The Urban SUV is modeled on the Yaris Cross, a top seller in Europe, and it's pretty much ready to hit one of Europe's largest BEV market segments next year. The Sport Crossover, on the other hand, is this cool high-riding fastback sedan set to launch in Europe in 2025. So what's the plan for America? Toyota's aiming to roll out a total of six EVs here by 2026, including the already on sale Toyota BZ4X and a compact SUV concept revealed last year. Plus, they're planning to unveil two more EVs soon. Yet, Toyota's been a bit of a roadblock in the push for EV adoption. They've been opposing the US's efforts to cut down on air pollutants and greenhouse gas emissions, and they've been big on promoting hybrids over battery electric vehicles. Remember, Toyota was a trailblazer in electrification back in the day, paving the way for companies like Tesla. But now, they're playing catch up with their competitors. And with all the debate over EV demand in the US, Toyota's been kind of smug about their strategy. Former CEO Akio Toyota's been like, see, we told you so. He's been stressing that there are many paths to achieving carbon neutrality, not just EVs. So what do you think? Should Toyota go all in on EVs? Are political leaders pushing EVs too hard? And hey, there's a video we just uploaded with some mind-blowing news about EVs. You've got to check it out. It's going to shake up everything you thought you knew about electric cars. That's the scoop. <laughs> Some pretty crazy times in the car world, huh? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I just uploaded a video about groundbreaking news that could hurt the entire EV industry. Do check it out if you want to be truly shocked by what's about to happen with EVs.